Y'all did the Hoover concert together. Me and the rest of the world thought y'all were bad cool. What happened after that? Like, what happened after that to where y'all didn't? Because I thought once that concert it, happened, it cuts Drake's soul. It's like he signed a, uh, his soul to the devil to not be cool with me, to have to, like, this is his job to go against God. Wow. Wow. And it cuts his soul. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, yeah. that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. That's and yeah, that Diddy's basically just at the top of a gang, um, and the person that's above him is Lucian Grange, which is just wild. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Um, you made a man. Uh, Jewish producer, Lucian Grange, Universal Studios, I believe. That this might be an indicator to things that have happened with black culture. What, yeah. do, you, what do you mean by that, I guess? So there has been a, just a very obvious corrosion in black culture, like the music that I grew up in. The allegations directed at Lucian Grange, CEO of Universal Music, by Kanye West and Rodney Lilrod Jones, imply potential misconduct within the entertainment sector. West insinuates that Grange could have deeper involvement in industry affairs, citing connections with Drake and questionable activities in Africa. Meanwhile, Lilrod's legal action suggests Grange and Diddy may have engaged in dubious practices, hinting at a broader network of influential figures. Reports of exclusive gatherings at Diddy's residence, allegedly involving Grange, raise further concerns about industry norms. These revelations underscore significant issues within the industry that demand resolution. Lil Rod's lawsuit uncovers disturbing incidents at events, prompting speculation about Grange's potential involvement in facilitating illicit activities. Mentions of covert surveillance imply possible coercion, heightening the gravity of the accusations. Grange's denials and legal responses underscore the severity of the situation and its impact on reputations. The controversy surrounding Lucian Grange's role in the music industry, highlighted by Kanye West and Rodney Lilrod Jones' lawsuit, suggests systemic issues may exist. Certainly, here's a revised version. Misconduct within the entertainment sector particularly involving Lucian Grange as the CEO of Universal Music, has come under intense scrutiny following revelations made by Kanye West on the Download podcast. West's assertions regarding Grange's ties to global financial networks and influence over figures such as Drake suggest deeper power dynamics beyond mere artistic collaboration. These allegations raise questions about potential manipulation for economic gain, sparking discussions about ethical standards in the entertainment industry. Some individuals within the industry argue that top executives profit by exploiting black artists through unfair contracts. Figures like Leo Cohen and Dame Dash have criticized the industry for promoting lifestyles detrimental to artists' well-being solely for profit. Additionally, there are unsettling rumors circulating about record labels profiting from artists' deaths, with speculation even extending to the involvement of insurance policies in some tragedies. Comedian Cat Williams has suggested that certain deaths may not be accidental, hinting at a possible scheme to capitalize on such incidents. These claims shed light on broader concerns regarding the morality and integrity of the entertainment business. Since 1987, over 90 rappers have been killed, often in their hometowns, reflecting a concerning trend of lower life expectancy within the hip hop community. Leo Cohen's controversial. Hey, you already separated all my friends. I don't got no celebrity friends. Because when I was on TV, on Instagram saying, I don't know where my child is. And the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public. And I didn't have the address of my child. None of these that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address though? Travis gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these All you fake hard is you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, wait. hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard is f you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll get f you because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks is because you did a deal, you fucking fed. 
You know what I'm saying? That's why you got to come at me, because part of the deal for you to be a do all that rah, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're going to go pull my coat co car. So you fuck up about me. Now, let me say it calm. You know fuck up about you should fuck up about Michael. The remarks made about Dina Max's death during a memorial service garnered significant attention particularly in light of Dana Max's past discussions regarding pressures from record labels. There have been claims linking Diddy's assistance to Clive Davis in establishing Bad Boy Entertainment, while Lucian Grange has recently been in the spotlight due to Lil Rod's lawsuit. These issues underscore broader concerns within major labels. Kanye West remarks about Grange managing Drake's career in rumors surrounding Kim Kardashian's alleged connections to Diddy's parties sparked intrigue. However, caution is warranted when interpreting social media actions, such as West unfollowing Diddy prior to a raid on his properties. The Homeland Security raid on Diddy's properties suggests deeper implications beyond mere celebrity misconduct. Given Kanye West's history of making public statements on sensitive matters, it's challenging to anticipate the outcome. Any disclosures would require evidence to be taken seriously. The Kardashians are adept at managing their public image, suggesting they will likely handle any fallout from rumored associations, with Diddy with caution to safeguard their brand. People are raising questions about potential hidden connections within the Kardashian circle due to skepticism about celebrity transparency and ethics. They are discerning between founded accusations and unfounded speculation. As this situation unfolds, it's crucial to base any allegations on verified information. Celebrities must be mindful of how they present themselves to the public and be prepared for any repercussions. It's essential to ascertain the facts before forming opinions. Lou Taylor's involvement in Britney Spears' conservatorship has sparked significant controversy. Allegations suggest she prioritized her company's interests over Spears' well-being. Courtney Love's experiences underscore the need for scrutiny regarding Taylor's practices and the complexities of navigating such situations. Beyond the personal implications, the actions of Lou Taylor raise broader concerns about control and exploitation within the entertainment industry. Increased calls for changes in conservatorship oversight could lead to heightened legal scrutiny for figures like Taylor, which would be beneficial for affected celebrities. These developments underscore the need for greater transparency and ethics in the industry, potentially prompting shifts in industry practices. Allegations against Taylor, including her involvement in financially motivated conservatorship attempts, raise significant ethical and legal questions. Her close connections to influential figures like the Kardashian-Jenner family and Diddy highlight the extent of her influence in the industry. The lawsuit involving Rodney Lil Rod Jones and allegations of financial impropriety indicate the necessity for stricter industry oversight. The intersection of Christian doctrine and celebrity culture adds complexity to the narrative, potentially impacting both business practices and personal philosophies. The relationships between Corey Gamble, the Kardashians, Diddy and Taylor illustrate how celebrities are subjected to intense scrutiny and speculation, complicating matters of fame and public perception. Corey Gamble's ties to Diddy and his involvement in related events suggest a crisis management role common within celebrity circles. Kanye West's recent accusations against figures like Lou Taylor and Corey Gamble, coupled with his distrust of actions allegedly taken by Kim and Kris Jenner, reflect his internal struggles and uncertainties. Taylor's role in managing and influencing clients' lives particularly evident in the Britney Spears conservatorship controversy, raises serious ethical concerns. The Kardashians' connections to Taylor and Gamble, coupled with their intricate financial and professional relationships, suggest a profound understanding of the entertainment industry. Kanye West's concerns about his children's safety 
Amid these dynamics, raise inquiries about personal boundaries within celebrity relationships. The ongoing drama involving Diddy, Lou Taylor, Corey Gamble, and the Kardashians underscores the complexity